What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Fantastic week. I want to come here today and bring you my full recovery routine, my full recovery session. All you're going to need is a foam roller. You can use a strap, a long sock, and a hard ball. If you don't have a hard lacrosse ball, see if you can find a hockey puck, anything that you can break up tissue with. So this routine that I'm going to show you today, I've been using now every morning for the past couple days and it's made me feel very, very good. And like I talk about all the time, if you do something and it makes you feel good, continue with it because that probably means that it's helping you out in the short, ter in the short term and in the long term. So generally what I do, I do this at about 9, 10 a.m. My, train, my team training is generally 5, 5.30 p.m. So I don't do my extras in the morning anymore. I try to get to my team training a little early, do some extras before, do some extras after, and I use this as a quality way to release the muscles, loosen the muscles, and it really is interesting because after this session, I feel very calm, relaxed, loosens the body, and loosens the mind. So I'm going to show you my recovery routine. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so first thing, I'm just gonna explain how I do it really quickly. I go from the bottom up, from the feet all the way up to the neck and the head. And generally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foam roll first with the lacrosse ball and with the foam roller to get warmth and blood to the tissue. After that, I'm gonna stretch with the stretching band, open up the muscles a little more, and then at the end, I'm gonna do dynamic stretching, dynamic movements. For each foam roll, for each muscle, I'm gonna foam roll, I'm gonna time it for one minute on the stopwatch. You can do it more, sometimes I do it more, but generally I just do this because I wanna set a time limit for this to be about 45 minutes to an hour, and if I tend to not time it, I go over it, and then I, I won't be consistent the next day because I think, oh, it took me too long, so I don't wanna do it again. So. Like I always talk about, consistency is the most important thing. So I time each one for one minute. If I find a tight spot, I sit on it, I breathe on it, and that's how I go about it. During this time, I listen to an audio book. Right now I'm listening to Think and Grow Rich. Something you can do as well, you can listen to music. You don't need to listen to music, you choose. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foam roll the bottom of the foot, if I can balance here. So all you're gonna do is just roll around, find tight spots. If you find any tight spots, sit on it and breathe. I need to roll around the whole foot. Find any tight spots, sit on it. After one minute, switch to the other foot. Next thing I'm gonna do stretch the toes with the ball. I've shown you this before on my Instagram, on some other YouTube videos, and it may seem weird, it may seem wooey wooey, but trust me, the toes, especially the big toe, are very, very important in sprinting in any athletic movement. So 30 seconds each toe, what you're gonna do is you put the ball under the toe, try to lean that knee over the toe, you should feel a nice stretch in the Achilles, Next thing you're gonna do, stretch the two middle toes. So same thing, lean into it. This is also very, very good if you have shin splints, if you have calf tightness, calf pain. Because like I've talked about before, everything originates from the feet. It's basically the base of your body. So it undergoes a lot of stress. When the feet are stressed, the rest of the body may feel it.
Now that we finished the feet, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mobilize the big toe and mobilize the ankle. How are we gonna do this? Pin down your other toes, and all you're gonna do is lift with your big toe. Lift, 20 big toe lifts. Very, very crucial, like I said, for sprinting, any athletic movement. Switch feet. If you can't do it alone, all I want you to do is simply lift the big toe with your hand as you pin the other toes down. Over time, your mind is gonna realize what it's doing and you're gonna strengthen and mobilize that big toe. Excellent. Next thing we're gonna do is mobilize that ankle. So, we're gonna be doing 15 repetitions, all you're doing is driving that knee slightly over the ankle, let this heel come up, and you go back. On the last rep, hold for 10 seconds. Ankle mobility is crucial for sprinting, explosiveness. You want to be able to properly dorsiflex your ankle. This comes through ankle mobility, and your ankles may be lacking range of motion for many, many reasons. Overtraining, constantly on your toes as a footballer, sitting a lot, wearing dress shoes, whatever it is, we want to fix that. To a downward dog get into a push-up position and all you're gonna do is you're driving your heels to the ground driving your hands through the ground and driving your ass to the sky I want six deep breaths in and out of your nose great stuff next thing I'm gonna do foam roll the hamstring same thing as the calf you want to start slowly, let's go one leg. Grab a strap or a long sock, whatever it is, we're gonna stretch the hamstring. Place it around your foot, lie back. Set your timer for 45 seconds. All you're focused on doing now is pulling the band up and over your head. Don't pull it down, pull it up and over the head. Keep this other leg on the ground and keep the head on the ground.
about the adductor, the groin region. You have groin tightness, groin pain. Your adductor could be very tight. So all I want you to do is place that foam roller. Place your leg at about 90 degrees. Place the foam roller here and you're gonna roll from the knee all the way up to the groin. We're ready here. I want you to foam roll that quad. It's gonna be very tight. All you're gonna do, roll from the knee all the way up to the hip. you to do roll that IT band it's a band that runs from your hip all the way down to your knee it's gonna be very tight if you train a lot if you run a lot Same thing on the other leg. Next thing we're gonna do, get the quad. going to do hit that glute. Glute gets very very tight. We sit a lot obviously if we're training a lot so just want to roll it out relieve the stress relieve the tension. All you're going to do is place that foam roll under the glute roll it out a little bit. If you want to add some more pressure just put that leg over the other one and roll around. Feel out the tight spots and let the warmth get to the tissue. Next thing we're going to do is a figure eight stretch gonna stretch the glute very nicely. So, I'm sure if you've done yoga, you've seen this before, all you're gonna do is put the ankle on the knee, and all you're doing is you're reaching through and pulling this leg towards you. This knee goes out, this knee comes to you. You should feel a nice stretch in that right glute. One minute. circles. Switch directions. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to foam roll the T-spine, which gets very tight very stiff when we're sitting on our laptops all day or we're sitting in chairs and begin to get hunched over our t-spine our back the muscles they lengthen they get long and our chest and our shoulders they get short causing a hunchback position what we want to do is open it up make sure that we can get our shoulder blades wide get our chest up and make that t-spine nice and mobile very, very important in sprinting and being able to create strength and power in every athletic movement. 
what we're gonna do is place it at the base of the T-spine. And we're gonna be doing extensions over the foam roller. So all you're gonna do, place them hands behind your head and just extend. As you extend, keep your ribs down by contracting and keeping your abs tight. We'll do five extensions on each segment. T-spine, what we're going to do is you're going to hug yourself, this is going to open up the T-spine, all you're doing is roll up and down the T-spine, if you find any tight spots, just hold. Excellent, next thing I want you to do just hit the traps, which are up here. Also get really tight from sitting, looking at your phone. Releasing them will re release a lot of stress on your mind and your body. So just relax, go up and down. The last thing I want you to do Get the neck. Foam roller directly under your neck. Lay down, relax. Go side to side. Excellent. Done with the foam roller for the day. Thank God. First dynamic stretch we're gonna do is a T-spine bridge. Put your hands behind you. And I want you, you're gonna lift up, activate the glute, reach over. 10 total reps. Two more, I want you to hold each position for 10 seconds. Next thing we're gonna do is the world's greatest stretch. There's a couple parts within this stretch. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna do three reps each leg. Grab that knee, pull it to the chest, lunge forward. Put your hands here, open up that right hip, just twist, open up the chest and the T-spine. If you have the flexibility, I want you to get that hamstring by driving that heel to the ground and driving the toes to the sky. Three, and then just crawl back. Next leg. here for about three seconds, open up that left hip, twist, get that hamstring, squat to stand, squat down, grab those big toes, if you don't have the flexibility, put your hands on the ground. All you're doing is you're driving your ass to the sky, and that's all you're doing. Drive the ass to the sky, back down, breathe. 12 to 15. Good, shake it out. Next thing we're gonna do is the Y stretch. So your feet are splayed out a little bit. Hands are up high, reach down, hamstring stretch, get into 
a squat position, hands in front, slightly get onto your hands, about four seconds, you're back. From here, I want four swivels to open up the chest. Now you're back up. Five total reps of that. It's about a four second hold on each position. I think this is gonna be the last stretch for the day. Pretty active myself, pretty mobile right now. Feeling good. Got something to say? All you're gonna do, shift side to side, drop those hips back, lean the weight. Lean the weight into this leg, stretch this leg completely, open those hips, 16 total. Slowly and efficiently. The last two, hold each position for 10 seconds. Last thing I want to do is just get the neck. Put this hand down reach for the ground, grab the side of your head, slightly tilt it, you're grabbing the ground, you're tilting this, and you're breathing. Six breaths. Thanks so much for tuning into the video. I really appreciate it. I hope it helped you out. If you get this session done two, three, four times per week, I guarantee that you're gonna feel so much better in your body and in your mind. And that's what it's all about. If you're feeling good in your body and your mind, if you're relaxed, if your muscles are nice, they're feeling good, you're gonna perform well. And that's what it's all about. So, if you like the video, click like. Please hit that subscribe button, support your boy. Drop a comment, let me know what your favorite exercise was. And as always, if you got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I got your back, I'm trying to make you a better football, a better athlete, a better human, better in your relationships. You know what it's about, have a good one, out.